actually like that music. I might that might be my regular background music or intro music. Thanks to the uh, well, copycat or and or swampcast. I actually like that music. Maybe we're gonna use it. Anyway, good morning, folks. Oh my God, there's a lot to talk about. There's a few things I just can't talk about that just came up. Oh, maybe I can release some information in the future, but I can't release it right now. I don't want to keep you guessing and all that stuff, but. Uh, it's kind of interesting shit, actually. But we won't talk about it now. Uh, you know, keep you in suspense just a little bit. Anyway, it's a beautiful morning. I've yet, of course, to go on my treadmill. Because my viewers are so much important. More important. You want to believe that? I just haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, it actually has been beneficial for me, actually. It has. I've noticed a difference in different ways, which really helped me out. Um... Yeah, I'd recommend it if you can afford to buy a treadmill. I think it's a good idea. Don't depend on the weather to be perfect for you to go out and do your long walks and stuff like that. You just can't depend on the weather. Apparently, there's a low pressure system moving in somewhere, I heard. I think Cebu is going to be having rain for a week coming up. Um, haven't had anything too incredulous happen over here yet. But we'll get the brunt end of it, I'm sure, because we always wind up... Come on, thumbs up, folks. Thumbs up. Come on. Come on, folks. Hit that thumbs up. It's a must. It's a must, I tell you. <laughs> anyway, man, I've picked out enough the past couple of days to last me a while. Should I get fast for a week and probably benefit it from it? Benefit from it. I don't know. My weight just gets kind of distributed. I don't know. I could gain weight and I could see a little something in my belly, but even that went down a little bit. Um... As I said, it's not really, you know, the exercise alone. It's just kind of what you put in your mouth. Makes sense, right? Yeah, well, you don't need no fancy, crazy crash diets and stuff like that. Just stop shoveling all that shit in your mouth. It's not that complicated, really. Okay, so again, I'm, I'm on relatively early. Well, I go on sometimes as early as 6 o'clock, and it's, what, 20 to 8 now. I can always, I should always make my shows around 10 o'clock. I keep on forgetting to just hold off if you want to make a show. Wait until about 10 o'clock. You get your best audience in around 10 o'clock, usually. Okay, well, there are things happening, but... 
there's a couple of things I that I just can't talk about. And I, I'm not going to talk about anything legal on this case whatsoever. I know、uh, somebody in this household who is kind of upset. Good morning, Ken. Because somebody, somebody out there said that I call the person a really bad name, a female, and、uh, it's hard to get her riled up. It really is. She's kind of very passive person in many ways, but she could be passive aggressive when she wants to. And when somebody says that I said something that I did not say, and she knows that as a fact, she gets pretty pissed. Off. Don't piss off a Filipina. Yeah, she wanted to actually get online and in her own language say a few choice things to this other individual who claimed that that I called them a certain word. Oh, she wanted to come on so bad. I said no. Let's not talk about these legal matters. We'll handle that in our own way. We've got you know, we got the recording obviously for saying. That I—that's perjury. That's called perjury, and we could take this in a legal direction if we wanted to. We have that option. Perjury. Never called somebody a certain name. So my significant other was pissed. I mean, pissed. She could have jumped through that screen and grabbed the throat of the other person. That's how pissed she was. Tell you what, she's、uh, an interesting person, my girlfriend. She.、Uh, well, let's let's leave it at that. Let's just let's just leave it at that. You know, okay. I don't want to get into this. Let's just say that she wasn't happy to hear that. So that is actually reinforcing my direction of where I'm going with certain things. Okay, so let's get the legal shit off the channel. There's no need to talk about that. It will all be handled in good time. It's already happening. No more questions about legalities. Let them put the nails on their own coffin. The perjury, all that crap. It's like when, you know, somebody calls me a sexual predator. Where are they now? They're in fucking jail. Don't ever say that I called somebody. Somebody a certain name when I did not. That pisses me off, and that pisses my girlfriend off too. I mean, madder than a hatter. Let me tell you, you've never seen her. She wanted to get on and just lay it out. I said, leave it alone, leave it alone, because she'll probably say something that could be used against us. So, I figured, you know, she's a loose cannon when she wants to be. You've never seen that side of her. <laughs> and you don't want to see that side of her, okay? You really don't. So I said, no, just leave it be. Let's not, let's not get into the politics anymore. Don't worry about it. The individual is being taken care of. There's no future for him, and let it be. Let the court system work for us. End of story. Okay, it's no use going on.、I'm、not trying to bait anybody. I'm not trying to antagonize anybody. Although they're trying to scare me with certain tactics, that isn't going to work. I'm going to tell you right up front, it's not going to work. It's not going to change the outcome. It's not going to change my mind in any form or way. Emails or anything else, threats from the individual under a different name, or the, or anybody else that might be associated with him. Hmm, it's not going to help your situation. I'll guarantee you that. But perjuring yourself. Saying that I called somebody that name. Show me, show me. I'm talking about show my, show me. How about that for interpretation? Show me.、As、Jerry Maguire says, show on the show. He said, show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the money. Well, show me the proof. I said that to you. Show me. Well, shut your fucking pie hole. All right, enough of that. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so we gonna have a little show here today or not? If not many people are showing up, I'm just gonna go work out, and take a shower, and then eat something because I am.、Uh, <laughs> I'm on a schedule today. I have to.、Uh, I got to take care of a few things today. So it's also payday too. We had Eagles shits today.、Yeah. Eagles taking a big shit today. If you're Filipino, you probably won't understand that expression. <laughs> But us Americans understand when the eagle shits, means it's fucking payday.
Payday. Yeah, we got a couple of projects around here. Ah,、uh, oh、shit. I'm contemplating whether I should do well, do it or not. There's a couple of、uh, inside projects here. We were、eh, thinking about doing.、Um, not like what I would say necessary right away. I mean, it could wait.、Um, you know, we got the Christmas season going on now. A lot of money going out. I mean, fuck it, eh? You know, Christmas season. A lot of shit going down on Christmas season. Projects. Unless they're important projects, could wait. Just well, one of them is kind of an important project, actually. One of them actually is, yeah, having to do with the security of the house. Actually, that's an important project. But the rest of it is just kind of added bonus type of stuff,、um, such as shelving in the storage room. I want to get that、um, tiling for outside of the house. You know, the outside area. Ugly-looking cement. Oh gosh! Oh, just putting a curtain rod and drilling that into the cement of a kitchen window. Small stuff. There, you know, there's always a project around here to do. You name it, there'll be a project. And the very, you know, and the daily maintenance that goes on around here. Well, at least I learned about the ants, supposedly, and what kind of ants they are. Some of you are kind of a. Advised me that、uh, these were basically weaver ants that are not going to work with the boric acid necessarily, with the sugar in it, because they're meat eaters. Meat eaters, I tell you. That's why I like biting people. Supposedly they don't sting. I could swear they sting, but I guess that's the bite. Because I've been bit in the past by these ants. We don't get them in the house, stuff like that. But we have these two big trees off the side, and there's a lot of nests, and they're they're very.、Uh, Unique nest because they're made out of dried leaves. They're like a, I don't know, ball-sized nest. And they take it、uh, from putting all these. They weave, yeah, they weave these leaves together to make their nest. And they don't usually bother anybody unless they see you as a threat, and they will bite you. And yes, I have been bitten by these ants before, and、uh, I can't forget the day that. We had a guy go up in a tree. He was gonna cut some of those branches down, you know, and he was just getting attacked left and right. We seen him up there just swishing stuff off his skin and his t-shirt, and oh man, he did. He's also trying to remove some of the nests. And I said, "Holy shit, you can't pay me enough to do that kind of." Oh my god, yeah. You're like anything. When something's attacking you, you're gonna attack back, right? So that's what the ants do. But these, but, well, but the other ants, there's otidid. Like apparently, guy says it's not otidid.、Uh, they will sting, unlike the bite of these ants. But tell you what, you get enough of these, you know, ants biting you or stinging you. If you have a, you know, alert, you, some people have allergic reaction to that antiphlactic. What do we call that? Shock. It's not a good thing. So have some antihistamines around if you react to stuff like this. Nature abounds. Nature abounds. Not always in a good way, and we do have snakes out here, but they're small. We don't have any cobras or anything like that on the island. There's nothing really. There's nothing really that dangerous on the island here, actually.、Um, you know, maybe these ants. <laughs> I I don't know. I can't think of anything that's really dangerous on this island here.、Um, I don't know. An upset bull, maybe it has a bad day or something. Or、uh, a goat that's in a bad mood that might want to chase you and horn you,、um, or some dog. God, I was watching a on a Facebook feed. It was kind of cruel. I don't know what the situation with the dog was. This dog ran up to this Filipino guy. He was Filipino. Tried to bite him. That guy went right for the dog, pinned him down, pinned his head down. He's getting a stick, hitting the dog on the head, and his wife or whatever it is comes over. Starts hitting the dog on the head. Well, anyway, they killed the dog, and maybe making claims that maybe it was rabbit. Well, it wasn't proven that the dog was rabbit, and the whole thing was cruel just to put on there. And I've seen a lot of this stuff, but I, I don't really want to watch it anymore. I really don't. There's a lot of acts of cruelty to animals out here that you know I just can't,、uh, I just can't watch that. I mean, I'm not going to pretend that it doesn't happen out here. This culture. Well, when it comes to animals, they're like not number one in their life. Let's put it that way. Now, if the animal was rabid, well, yeah, but、huh? Ranga Bob says now people want to adopt the dog. Oh, are you talking about that particular video? Did you see that? 
I don't know if the dog lived. I have no clue. Did, did you see that video? Shit, I'd adopt a dog. I don't need any more, but under that circumstance, I don't understand why the dog kind of jumped on him, though. I mean, that is a concern. If a dog is going around biting people, as much as I love dogs, that could be a real problem. But there are humane ways of putting down a dog. He saw... He was checked by a vet, not rabbit. You mean they didn't kill the dog? What happened? Because see, I, they don't show the whole video. What happened in the rest of the video? They let the dog go or what happened? I thought they thought they killed the dog. I mean, that His wife comes over like some witch, man, you know, and, you know, starting striking this dog. He was checked by the vet. I hope somebody, if he survived and he's well, I hope somebody does adopt the dog. But it's like they're so proud to put it on. Hey, look at me beating the shit out of a dog. And you see all these videos on there. These poor animals and stuff, and they, they show animals being... The ones I hated was there's a pack of dogs attacking another small dog. And I always report those videos because they shouldn't be on there. They don't even go out to help because it's more important for them to have a video that they can make money on. They won't help the animal that's under the attack. That's what just pisses me off. That's what pisses me off. Human nature, man. I'm telling you, man. Who's the real animals on the planet? We're the real animals on this fucking planet, you know? Yeah, that just pisses me off when I see shit like that. It just really, really does. Somebody here, uh-oh. The glass company is going to do some work. Ah, uh, shit, 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 shit. That's right, that was the other project. I got to fix the screen door. Something else. You guys keep on going on. I'll be back and forth. I just got to acknowledge him being here. Okay, Barangi Bob says... The authorities look, took the dog to a vet. The dog does not have rabies, and many people have inquired about adopting. Well, what they should do is go fucking arrest this bastard who did that to the dog. But what was the situation with the dog attacking him, though? What did he do? He didn't want to show that part, did he? Okay, I'll be back, just back and forth. Just go on, man. Just carry on. I got to acknowledge my, my worker. Well, apparently, Gilda does want to say something in her own language here. And it's in regards to what I supposedly called somebody. So in your own words, uh, your own language, uh, address it, man. Just do it. Yeah. Uh, in your own language. Oh, namin ako sa Consejo Salty ni Frank about sa vlog. Uh, wala man siya nag-salty nga unsa ka. Narana ni mo kung unsa ay muhang bot ipasabot. Pero wala siya nag-mention na, na, na words. Kung unsa man gani ang mga pas ni Barry nga asa to da pita tong mga babae niya gipanguha pero dili ikaw ang iyang giingon nga gikan sa bar or diin ang tanan gani mga YouTuber da mo mo kwani prank mga haters sagun sa pay lang isulti diri na ko wala ra mang gani ko kay dili tinuod e, Barry unsa iyang gipanulti about nako before so, ako na siyang gireport mo na ako siyang ipangusgan nga mauna nga makuan siya kay kapila na ko nag hatag niya og chance nga mo stop siya sa yang disulti about na ko pero iya hagi akong gituman no iya hang gipanulti. So, mauna na ang iya hang naguma karon karma. Yeah, I didn't understand except the word karma, but I think I know what she said. <laughs> I can't totally interpret that, but I, I think what she's saying is that uh, you know, the dude is in enough trouble as it is. Don't complicate it any more than you need to because, uh, you know, you're hearing a very calm voice with her right now. Yeah, drama. So many drama in YouTube. I know that how many times I said to Bra Frank, when you start YouTube, drama is there. Basher is there. Narana nimo kung saan nimo pag about that the drama and well, haters. in your own language i mean who caused the problems here why is he in jail he's not in jail because he was a good guy um i oh, na na siya sa jail because wala siya dibayad sa yahang kuan yahang sa na siya immigration fee so mo na siyang nasa jail dili naman na imuhang kuan imuhang paul frank Yaha man ang call kay wa siya nagtuman sa kuhan sa immigration nga bayranan. Pila na good kay yours siya overstay. Ano na diha kay gusto ka makibit ni Frank about that reason? No, you cannot win. Because all Frank said, uh, all Frank said is never call you about that words. 
then Barry uh, tell anything about me before I always uh, save that video and everything because na 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 share record sa ihang mga babae before so it it botan siya nga pagkatao sa imo ha sa in, sa imo hang ato bangad botan pero sa lain nga iya hang gibuhat before so makasulti jud ka og bati yeah in the situation where um your boyfriend actually did he ever tell you he did that of course he won't he's not telling you a lot of things when he actually tried to contact her children on facebook and say that the the man that that uh, your uh the man that is with your mom is a child predator did you forget that one or did he neglect to tell you about that one yeah yeah nang chat dito sa ako ang mga anak sa unsa ko unsa akong mga anak oy daghang anak wala ko na ngayo og support para other people nagkuan ko na ning kamot ko ako ang kaugalingon maka maka support ko sa ako ang anak oh, kung ako ay maglagot kabalo ko kung unsay gi pang sulti ni Barry pero kung unsay gi sulti ni Barry sa imo ha mo to og yug ka kay siya may gasulti pero ang imo ha sang i-balance mao ra sa da akong gisulti before sa laing mga babay i-balance nimo kung unsa ang iyahang mga kaagi og ang sakaron kung unsa jud ang tinuod kamo may nag-ipon so kamo ang ikaw may makahibaw kung unsa jud siya I don't know exactly what she said, but I think she was saying, don't piss her off because uh, you don't need perjury charges. I've never called you that name and I would not be that stupid to do so on here. I never even made an implication. Now, if you're guilty of something, that's not my problem. But don't piss Gilda off because she is a Filipina, okay? And uh, she's got more clout than you think you know. Wala ko nagpuan sa imuha ang katulang imuhang partner kaysa iyahang ipang buhat sa akong mga anak sa una nga iyahang ipang chat. And understand that your boyfriend's in jail because that's where he belongs. He broke the fucking law. He broke the fucking law. Immigration to start off with. Yeah, yes, I am, Joseph. Um, he put himself there. Face the reality. There's not going to be a marriage. And uh, maybe you can explain that in your language, Gil, but that... Under his circumstances, he can't get married. Ah, uh, kung gusto gud siya magminyo siya niya, ah, uh, pakasal sa lang duha. So, ikli eclair sa na niya iyang kaugalingon nga wala siya record diri sa uh, kay kung magminyo ka, pangitaan makag NBI record kung unsa man dis pareha ra sad na kung magminyo kag foreigner sa gawas, pangitaan sa kag record sa foreigner kung unsa siya. Well, you know, we don't care Nobody cares about your relationship, okay? If you find something va- of value in this man, that's fine. That's your business. Yeah, it's. It's yeah. not really us to really. It's really not really any of us to really question that. I must admit yeah, that. that. But, but you not know, an animo. Your decision. It's your decision. I mean, <sighs> I mean, it, we're just basically talking common sense here. All of us, actually. There is no future with a man that is going to be in jail for many years. Be- uh, because if you said like a uh, ma- uh, person can change no 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 we both me and Gilda both agree on this on his situation he's not going to be a change and he's proved that even so it's been five months now plus that he's been in jail it's very apparent that he hasn't changed and I, I don't know what miracle you're looking for dear I don't understand what miracle you think is going to happen that's going to get him out of jail and get him in the Philippines to stay and to get married and to have a future. I don't know what miracle, you know, all the praying you could do, damage control, it's done. I mean, he has to face the reality of what he did. He has to face the reality of his cyber crime charges. And there's a process that goes along with that. And the fact is, and I wouldn't be lying to you here, He could be in jail for an awfully long time before he even gets this case to go to court. Now, how many times have you witnessed your boyfriend lying about everything? Now, I know what he's telling you, that, oh, everything's going to be fine because he needs you in his life. You're handling his money affairs. You're handling food, conjugal visits, all that stuff. And you don't see the light of day. 
I mean, how would you put that in your language, Gilbert? Uh, to make her understand, she don't. Uh, she doesn't understand or doesn't want to understand what's going on. Except nga ikaw ra, ikaw maghapod o pagkaon, ikaw, ma, ikaw mag-comfort sa iya ha, ikaw magbisita sa iya ha dito, so ikaw ga-support niya. So, mauna. Okay, I could try to interpret that later on, but... <laughs> I don't know, there's a lot of like comments going on on here, and I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Who the hell is Shelton starting drama? I have no idea. Uh, how about Brevis, the king in Mabolo? Uh, <laughs> who's, who's the dress? Who are you talking about? Philippine stalker. The table of hate found out when Brevis lives at Mr. Frank. He lives in Mabolo. Huh? Philippine stalker said the address Cebu Family Suites by Cocatel, Almandra Street, Cebu City. Well, I don't know. My understanding is living over at the Alveda Towers, Towers number two. That's all I know. And he talked about it one day, actually, but he doesn't. He has a, a friend or somebody that's living upstairs on the seventh or ninth floor. So he's living on any floor that's below seven. But I don't want to talk about don't it. Don't even give him the pleasure of giving him any PR on here. You know? Who the fuck cares about him anyway, truthfully? Well, I think Gilda said what she needed to say. Um, although prior to that, she'd be in a little bit different mood and would have laid it on her pretty large, but she was being the, you know, relatively passive person she is. She just talked in a calm voice and said what she had to say. So I think overall what she was trying to say without interpretation is stop fucking with Frank and stop coming up with all kinds of crap that I supposedly said and I did not say. There's something called perjury. You can get arrested for that because nobody ever called her a name like that. And I'm not stupid enough like your boyfriend. And by the way, what is it uh, you see of why your boyfriend's in jail? And she came down with this speech. You know, Gilda, she came on with a speech saying, well, everybody makes mistakes. Well, you got to understand something. That's true. We... Uh, uh, yeah, everybody makes mistakes. But... but just once. Not all the time, not trifle or yeah, like she said, yeah. Every I make mistakes, you make mistakes, everybody makes mistakes, but nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect, but they repeat constantly. What what is it you don't understand about that? You see him as being this fine, upstanding man. How come nobody else does? It's already been established of him taking money off Filipinas all the time, people he owes money to. He's lied about everything. What makes you think he's not lying to you about everything? Because he wants to keep you in his life. Because you are all he has. Okay? And he'll promise you the sun, the moon, and the stars. And you be gullible enough to believe that shit. What is it that you don't understand? I think all of us are trying to understand that. What is that you don't understand? You got a loser boyfriend in jail. He's going to stay in jail. He's going to eventually be deported. Never to be able to come into this country again. You're never going to be able to marry him. So why are you holding on him for dear life? And that's what I think a lot of people on here are kind of... They just, just don't understand it. She said that Barry deserves a... Set. Barry has been given a lot of chances by people. By the very people that donated to him. That wanted him to go start his life you know, clean your act up and everything else, but Barry hasn't cleaned his act up. And he, and he never will. You know, he doesn't deserve any chance. The words he said and what he accused me of went really deep, went really deep. That's something you don't call anybody and ruin somebody's reputation. You know, the deed is done, okay? Can't change history, can't change the past. He needs to learn a valuable lesson. That's why he's in jail. He'll be going on the 28th of this month. It'll be six months. That ain't quite enough as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to make sure that he's deported, never to come back into this country again. Now, what happens in between all this shit? I don't know. Miracles, perhaps? Probably would need one. Let's see. Uh, Brian Bob says, Clip. A little bit. And Price Cyrus wouldn't agree. 
with more chances. Well, you know, you can only give so much. Look, I've warned you many times that, and I've said the words, you, you know, you keep on putting nails in your own coffin and he wouldn't stop. He wouldn't stop. What is this? His girlfriend doesn't understand about that. How much time does Barry need to serve for you to be satisfied? Uh, about 10 years. About 10 years will do it. Shaw, please side with your Filipino people. Not a criminal. Right, I agree. You know, guy, you know, people think they get away with shit on, on YouTube, man. It's just, it's not the reality of it. There's a lot of people that face consequences that came real and can't get as real as it is. I mean, with him being in jail, it's a reality check. There's no feeling sorry for the guy. There was a time that if I, there was a time, there was a time that I thought that, well, you know, maybe his time served where he is will make him change and really change. But that didn't happen. He doesn't realize how he fucked up himself. Because I could have easily said, no, forget about the cybercrime charges. Just let immigration do what they're going to do, whatever it is they feel that they need to do about him. As long as he's not even coming back into the country. That would have been, that would have sufficed. But I'm at the point now where, you know, it's going to be, the, he's going to go the long haul, whatever. Yeah, whatever happens to him happens. It's out of my hands now. And uh, she could believe all she wants, okay? Because she's in a relationship with him, okay? And I, I don't know. You said it was before, before he have a Filipina. And then all this fight, the Filipina fight about what the basher said. But in the end, they did not want good and bad. Yeah, all these relationships, they, in the end, they found out what he was all about. A lot of them were like, you know, like they had cement between their ears or something. And, and this guy was very good at trying to convince Filipinas that, you know, all these people are against me. I'm not that type of person. I would never do that. He even said he never owed anybody any money. Wow, what a lie that was. He owed everybody and their fucking grandmother money. He thinks that the world owes him something. So what is she getting out of this relationship? Well, that's that's her thing. I'm not even going to get the point of questioning it anymore. She made a choice to be in a relationship with this guy. She will have to face the consequences that he's going through. And that they're never going to get married. I cannot see how that will ever happen. He never had an, he'll never get an MBI clearance because of what's going on, which you need to get married. And you could try to do that with a little local government office or barangay, but that ain't going to work either. So what's the purpose? I mean, there's so many guys out there that could benefit her, you know, and, and I'm saying this in defense of her. I'm not being offensive at all, and I'm not trying to be. I think you guys know that. I think you feel the same way as I do. So many good guys out there that could provide a future for her. You know, they should be happy. Not worried about if he's going to be cheating on her. Not worry about him sucking money off her. You know, her buying things for him every time he has a need. I mean, that's not a relationship. But, you know, everybody can define what they think is a good relationship. What works for them, I guess. Let's see, I haven't been reading. I can't really blame you for being so vindictive and ruining lives because he did say some mean stuff well i'm not going around trying to ruin lives plural you know only when they do something as egregious and uncalled for that he did the real gossip says the king in mabolo uh let his baby hear the trauma on youtube the girlfriend did not do anything she just smiled i shouldn't call i should call Robin about that. Who's Robin? Just call about the Robin about him. What's Robin? Robin Hood. Uh, like the Robin Hood. Oh, I don't know, like Robin Hood. Uh, Real Gossip says that she is beautiful. Love is more powerful, Frank. Yeah, well, gosh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, Real Gossip. <laughs> Trollheads says, will you? Oh, fuck Fazio's challenge. Uh, let's see what else. Hulk Hulk is looking for a good woman. And Real Gossip says, uh, the king in Movo let his baby here. To... Okay. Uh, ask Brevis who's Robin. I don't talk to Brevis, so I'm not going to ask him who's Robin. Uh, you know what Robin means, Gilda? Oh. Why he's... I don't know. Keep them Robin, nothing for that. Rockin' Robin Baltz... Baltazar. Well, Baltazar, isn't that some guy's channel? Baltazar, I know that name. Baltazar. Yeah. 
movie, Robin like, Baltazar. In the movie, like, like, What movie? I don't know. I, uh, I think they're talking about a YouTuber. I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> But yeah, I get tired of hearing this shit all the time. I know she's trying to act in the defense of her boyfriend. But it, don't make it worse for yourself because that could happen. I don't want to hear anything about what her sister's saying. Her sister don't play a part in this. You know, I don't want to start getting rude on here, so I won't. Let's just say her sister needs to keep out of this shit. Now, if her sister can't see that this dude is a criminal, if she can't see that this guy's a fucking loser, if she can't see that this guy is not good for her own sister, there's something funny going on there. Very bizarre. Very bizarre. Even even understanding the fact that sister wants to stick up with sister, you know, and then she's making comments in the background all the time. Don't make it more complicated. Is what I'm saying, man. I, I'm retired. I got the time. I got the cash. Don't complicate it. It's bad enough as it is. Your boyfriend's in jail. He's staying in jail. He's going to go to court. I will see him in a court of law. Okay. The evidence is there. The evidence is in. It's damning evidence. He will not get out of that, which means that he could be waiting for the court hearings for who knows how long and then when the court hearings begin god knows how long that's going to be from session to session he could literally be in, in in jail for years before this court case is over and then on top of that on top of that they find him guilty he could get jail time for that too so he may never see the light of day uh probably in his physical lifetime because he's not the healthiest sap on here man Do you ever think about that? Well, I heard her sister has money, but that's irrelevant. You know Brevis' real name? Mm-hmm. Write me. Frank in Hawaii 54 at yahoo.com. There you go. That's my social media email address. No bullshit stories. I don't want no bullshit. You just go to my spam folder. No, I don't believe anybody. No, I don't. As Gilda said, you believe anybody on YouTube, I know. No, I don't really believe anybody on here. You'd have to show valid proof, and that's the only way I'll believe it. You can present any name to me you want and bait me into believing something. I've been through that before, and I fell for it many times, but then I got wise. Sorry, I don't believe that kind of gossip. I'm well beyond that stage. So, yeah, if you caught Gilda another time, she would have been in a lot pissed off mood and would have had a lot to say to somebody on here. But being the kind-hearted to the point person she is in a very monotonous voice she said what she needed to say she doesn't wish to have any conversations with her she just wanted to say what she needed to say which basically came down to is you know stay out of our business stop perjuring yourself don't make it worse you got enough problems on your hand right now with your boyfriend face the fact he committed the crimes he did That's why he's being faced with the crimes. Nobody else did him. He did. Don't make any excuses for him. Oh, I know Barry, you know, deserves a chance. You know, he can change. He can't change, and that's the problem. Troll Hunter says, uh, Frank is like the Emperor Nero. Lover looks up like a gladiator with a sword at his throat. And Frank, grinning in his finest tunic, slowly motions, thumbs down, and all goes dark for Bummer. Uh, all is going dark for Bummer. I said I wasn't going to talk about this shit on the show, and then you guys had to bring this shit up. But it's okay, because Gilda has something to say. I allowed her to say it. I gave her that opportunity. We weren't going to get into that at all. But I think she probably made herself very clear. Maybe not to all of you that don't know the language, but I'm pretty sure she made herself abundantly clear to the woman that uh, we're not going to take any shit we haven't taken any shit don't cause any more shit don't make your life more complicated we got the time we got the money i got the energy and i got the evidence cut it right there you want to make shows on barry's channel make shows show people how to cook squid okay or maybe calamari you know maybe a good beef pachero Stick to things like that. Because the more you open your mouth on your channel, you know it's being copied. You want your boyfriend to have a chance at all? I want to tell you, you're not helping him by attacking me and creating lies that I called you a certain name when I didn't cut the shit. You want to help him or you want to hurt him further? That's up to you. There we go. Uh, just curious, does it feel good, bad, or neither that you are likely ending his life 
once he hits big guitar. Uh, he'd be ending his own life. I didn't cause the problem, okay? And his pre-existing health conditions, I didn't cause that. Whatever Mother Nature does, Mother Nature does. That's none of my responsibility whatsoever. No guilt complex whatsoever. I'm sorry, man, but you could call me an idiot. You could call me stupid. You could call me almost every name in the book, but you don't fucking call me a child molester when I'm not. That put him in his position right now. But he didn't just say it once, okay? He repeatedly, repetitively said that on a hundred shows. And I warned him to stop it. And his girlfriend knows that. So why is she sticking up for him? She think it's right? She's a Catholic, right? You have certain beliefs that she shouldn't do this and shouldn't do that. So why are you defending this man? Why? Like, why? You can't get another man? Come on, of course you can. Find an outstanding gentleman. They're out there. Why do you want to support a criminal? That's what he is. He's a criminal. You know he's lied. If he had teeth, I'd say he lied through his teeth. He lied to everybody. He took money from people. He hurt other Filipinos. He even manhandled that woman over on, what do you call, Tablas Island. He even bruised the baby. That's the kind of man you're dating? The one that says, don't tell me not to smoke around the baby. I'm paying rent in this... He was staying at that pigsty, remember? I'm paying the rent, I'll smoke wherever I want. It's okay because my girlfriend's parents smoke around the kids. In other words, it's a right for him to smoke around the kid. What kind of a man is that that you're in a relationship with? He didn't care about the baby. He didn't even want to go buy milk and diapers for the baby. What kind of man are you dating? The girl had to go home to eat because your boyfriend didn't know how to put out any money for food. They were living in a fucking crematorium, for God's sakes. Jesus Christ, man, you know? He goes up to Big Guitar and becomes one of the forgotten ones. He's he's in, uh, he's doomed, Ken Unger says. Troll Hunter says, I find it admirable to be so cold-blooded and ruthless. Uh... Genghis Frank. Troll Hunter, I'm not a ruthless person, but wear my shoes and have somebody call you a child molester when you're not. Have your family hear that. Have other peers hear that. Maybe you're working. Have somebody at your job hear that. They fire you. Do you not understand the gravity of those words? Yeah. What was the transgression that tipped the scale of barrier? Well, when he uh, called up or tried to contact their children. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. Besides the fact calling me a child molester when I'm not. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. He involved the children, is your answer. And then what uh, really got to me is that I, I, the, the mindset of people on here who were actually supporting his channel with uh, Super Chat. And I, I can't see really that they actually thought what he did was great and that was worth giving him a Super Chat. I think it was just to uh, proliferate the drama, but unfortunately, uh, Ricky took all the donation money and was even laughing at the whole situation. That was pretty cruel. I must say, that really was. Even for Ricky, you know. It's not that I feel sorry for the dude in jail. I, I don't. But don't tell somebody that you're collecting money and then uh, it's going to be for your defense and all that stuff. And he'd be pocketing the money to buy his girlfriend's phones and different shit like that. That was pretty cruel, if I say so myself. Because I wouldn't want to be in that situation if somebody's promising to help me. And they're having a donation drive to free the person or to get legal counsel. And they're pocketing that money. That, that's pretty cruel. Yeah, I, don't, I agree with you, Troll Hunter. Pretty cool. We got a lot of those on here. Well, I hope you're enjoying the show. I'm not seeing no appreciation on here, though, that's for sure. That seems to be the norm on here. But if I came out here and I started calling people horrible names, you might just enjoy that. I'll see my screen light up. James Caldwell says, okay, Frank, Mon uh, Moniker is actually the godfather of Van Tien. <laughs> okay. I'm nobody's godfather. Well, actually, I am out here. <laughs> we somehow didn't really volunteer this. We're actually godparents to somebody's children. We didn't want that position. But it's the kind of thing they do out here in the Philippines. Um, that's where when birthdays come around, if you were labeled as godfather or godmother, it means you got to go to these birthday parties and events and give gifts. So although it's like a, an honorary thing to be, you know, deemed a godfather to the children because they trust you enough and like you enough, but there's an ulterior motive with that too. Because it usually means that you are feeling some responsibility to the children. That when a birthday comes, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this, you know. Yeah. Uh, Troll Hunter, yes, uh, James Caldwell, kiss the ring or meet your, f uh, 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 meet your fate. 
the dawn of Santa Fe. Ah, nobody's dawn. I'm just little old me. Little old me. I don't claim to be anything that I'm not. Never did. If I happen to be living a little bit better than somebody else, I mean, well, whatever, man. It is what it is. Get your life together. I've said that a count countless amount of times. Okay, we got from Morongay Bob, 125 pesos. Thank you very much. He says you should write a book about how you made him pay for his words and actions. Well, maybe my screen will start lighting up for a change, huh? That would be nice. Thank you, Morongay Bob. <laughs> I like that that jingle that the、uh, Swampcast channel puts on. Actually, that might be the theme song for my show. Might replace my. No, I'm never going to replace the original end of summer theme. That's that's my that's my gig. All right, let's see some、uh, coloration happen on this screen here. We even got Gilder on here. I mean, what's that word to you? Damn, folks. I mean, let loose a little bit. My goodness, my goodness. Jerry must be out.、Uh, Scuba diving today. Jerry's always on here today. He's not on here today. Jerry always shows up. That's one cheap bastard, though. Jerry. <laughs> I said you can afford to go scuba diving and all that.、You、can't afford to donate to my show. Because, well, it doesn't cost much to go scuba diving. Well, I guess maybe it does. That's why he doesn't have a house or anything. He just can't afford it, which is okay. There's nothing wrong to rent. We rent it out here too. Nothing wrong with renting at all. I don't put anybody down for renting because you're free to go anytime you want. You know, just you know. Do your lease if you have a lease, and move on, McDuff. And that's what you could do with, with the rent thing. But it's nice if you don't have to rent if you own a house because you don't have to pay any rent. I mean, there's other responsibilities. Don't get me wrong, maintenance and all that stuff. I mean, it's worth it. We're finding. I don't mind keeping busy around here because that's good. It's a good thing to keep busy. There really isn't, you know. Let's face the fact: there really isn't much to do in the Philippines unless you're a younger man, you're a backpacker. Let's face it: most of the guys living out here are retired. They either have pre-existing health conditions, or they develop health conditions, and they can't do the things they used to do. They were younger man. You come out here because you're a missionary from a church, or your daddy's got money. You know, there's a lot of、uh, people that qualify on here for that. Sure, sure. Backpacking, going from place to place, island to island. That's fantastic, man. I, I dig that shit. Oh yeah, you can do that. But generally, you're a younger person, okay, and you're on the.、Uh, You know, you're on the credit card of your father or mother, trust fund baby, or it's a missionary from a church that wants you to spread the word of God throughout the Philippines, and they pay for your trip. Can you believe that what's his name became a bona fide Philippine citizen? What's his freaking name again? Always with the bandana on. Becoming Filipino, becoming Filipino. Can you believe they made because of all the hoopla that he got on here? That they actually made him not an honorary; they made him a citizen, a status. Yeah, because he promoted the Philippine tourism. Yeah, promoting the Philippines tourism. They do all good promoting for the Philippines. Yeah. So that's why they submit to the court of appeal to to that guy petition for the become a Filipino. Yeah, but you know. But they get the hearing for the Senate hearing before you become a. Got to go through、yeah. all that, huh?、Mm. Take it long. That's、be. very rare for that to happen, folks. By the way, but there was a lot of talk about this guy. I never trusted him. What he was doing with certain donations to help certain causes.、Um, there was a lot of hoopla about that, you know. But good for him if he got that stat. Now Ricky thinks he's a. <laughs> Ricky thinks he's a Filipino now, because he got what an SSRV or something. So that's making him a native Filipino now. <laughs> oh my God, the socio sociopathy on here! My goodness gracious,、it、takes all kinds to be on YouTube here. And say what kind, but it takes all kinds. That haircut though, what's with that? It's kind of like、uh, what parents used to do to their kids in poor countries or even poor America. They put a pot on your head, and they take a scissor, and they just cut all the way around the pot. <laughs> Troll Hunter says, "How did Ricky manage to become a citizen of the Philippines with criminal past in the fills? I don't even know how he even got an SSRV. He paid the money for it, whatever. I don't know. He's got a criminal record here. That's see, that's why Licky cannot afford to get in any more trouble out here. He doesn't realize it. You know, he's cocky like the others." 
And he doesn't realize it. He can't afford to get in trouble with anyone out here anymore. Anyone. I think he knows it, but sometimes he's too cocky. And that's how it happens every single time. Goes to show you. Me, I'm just keeping my channel, my, keeping it real, man. That's all I'm doing. I'm keeping it as real as can be. I'm watching every goddamn thing I say on here, believe me. I am. Troll Hunter. Ken Unger says a troll hunter. All he got was his ACR card. It does not make him. I don't get it. You go to listen to anything Ricky says or anybody else. I guess his girlfriend split on him, huh? <laughs> it was about to ha bound to happen one way or the other. Oh, he don't have anything nice to say about anybody. He's He's been really pushing it. The other guy on the other island, who well, he's been pushing it major, man. I think there's going to be repercussions that he not expect that he's been pushing it on everybody man. but you know what i don't think a lot of us are worried about the island guy because truthfully his health isn't really good i don't care what weight he lost it, his and the way he's going about it is also unhealthy yeah ken unger says that ricky wasn't paying her enough is the rumor so why do you think he was staying at that that bargain basement place he was renting he might be out of there by now if he had a six-month lease. Living a five-star lifestyle, really. It was all the money he was putting out in these women. Then, of course, he got the uh, yellow man cake. He doesn't know how much out of pocket he's going to have to put out for that, so he was being very careful. <laughs> Catchy little tune. I don't know. He might have to find a different theme. Because I like that theme. I think it's funny to shit. Doing something right on that channel anyway. Thank you, Barangay Bob, for your 125 donation. Old Truncher says, I see at Ken Unger. I thought he said he had become a citizen. I stand corrected. No, he was saying I'm now Filipino. Is what he was saying. <laughs> He's calling himself a Filipino now. <laughs> God, I must have blocked a lot of people on here. <laughs> anything new about that oh this should be i should be the host with the most but i guess i'm not because i don't see rainbows out there rainbows my song i mean nothing but rainbows rainbows lighting up my screen rainbows gotta have some rainbows Lighting up my screen. That's what we need to make it a really happy day today. I got a lot of shit to do today. I even I even even eating breakfast because you guys are more important to me. I'm doing a show. My God, what I do for you people on his own mind, troll hunter. LOL. What I do for you people. God. I want to see a Christmas tree on here today. Get me in the Christmas spirit, for God's sakes. I'm not in the Christmas spirit. I'm just not. Not yet. It's kind of hard to be in the Christmas spirit when you live in the tropics. I felt that same way when I was in Hawaii. You know what was really cool around that time and over at Walmart? They'd have that part where they have all the Christmas trees. They were real trees. Oh, you could smell the pine and, uh, you know, just... Mm -hmm. Smelling in that 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 scent, that pine scent, uh, scent remind me of uh, well, certainly reminded me of living in Seattle because there was a lot of evergreens. Of course, reminded me of my days growing up in New York, having a real Christmas tree, and just that smell of that was really nice. Of course, we have an artificial tree. We don't want to kill a tree. We want to let it grow. You know, we have an artificial tree. Throw some shit on there. It doesn't have to be elaborate. Throw some lights on there. Hey, voila call it Charlie Brown tree, whatever, but I'm not going to cut down it. You know, I don't want, I don't want to, you know, promote that industry of cutting down trees that are giving oxygen. Just buy an artificial tree, man. Buy some thumbs up, folks. Thumb sack, thumb sack, thumbs up, thumb sack, thumb sack. A little thumbs up on here, a little appreciation on the show here. Okay, I got to tend to something. We'll be back in a couple uh, after a message from my sponsor. Tell these folks, Gilda, to stop cheaping out. <laughs> I know, they're so cheap on my show. They're cheaping out, Gilda. They're cheaping out. We got the one and only lovely, did I say lovely, Gilda, right here at my side. My gosh. I don't have her talk on my show very much. Only when she has something to say. We don't do that. I'm writing Rose Hunter. Organized. She's just reading the comments card on here. card and does not make you a citizen. Hmm. No, it doesn't. Even you have a ECR card, you are not a Philippine citizen. Just the. Well, he's never had an ACR card before. He's had to have had an ACR card. 
I got an ACR card. Don't make me a citizen here. Yeah. And I don't care, even if you're married to a Filipino, you know, it doesn't give you that many advantages when you think about it. But just remember, you can't get divorced here. <laughs> That law has to change, that's for damn sure, really. You cannot get divorced, and then you can get annulment, but you know how much the annulment is? It's a million now. It's up to about a million pesos now yeah. for the annulment. Mm -hmm. And how many years does it take, too? Yeah. You'd be dead. Most foreigners would be dead. Uh, what's his name? My Philippine, the Philippines Experience. Wait. I think they pretty much got their annulment through, from what I understand. But look how much money and how much time it took. And the crazy things you got to go through for that. You know, like psychological tests and all kinds of shit. I mean, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Yeah, because we talk about some of our friends get, getting married soon. Then he said to me about that. Philippines, uh, some, some guys and some women said how much you spent for the marriage so you make it times three or times four for gift for annulment <laughs> it's a tough process man <laughs> real gossip says are you guys filed annulment no we don't no. file no annulment and then, and then she said to me mama is the annulment for this time is almost a million and then i said okay you just think it about that a million yeah. Ooh, went up that's about eighteen thousand bucks the vatican in the philippines is the only place in the world that does not have divorce but you realize that the catholic church is behind this they're behind everything they're behind everything <laughs> behind everything the pope in the future is going to be the new world leader is what's going to happen yep there's been a lot of talk about that where it's all going that the pope will be a new world leader by the way the pope has a lot of information about ufos all that shit. he's got that knowledge and they know things and they will never talk about it you know why i'll tell you why because it'll make religious beliefs obsolete about gods and things like that if we aren't going to get into religion it's a touchy subject just like a military topics very touchy subject but i will tell you the pope has a lot of information the pope is very aware of actual specimens of uf of aliens extraterrestrial life he's aware of the really dark things that are going on this planet he has probably more knowledge than most presidents do not underestimate the knowledge of the Pope. Nope. Don't underestimate. The Pope knows a lot more than people think. That will be the new world leader in the future. Okay, we've been on this quite a while, and I really need to start winding down here. I appreciate Gilda coming on and saying what she needed to say to a particular person. Hope uh, that person's got it clear. Stay out of trouble. Stay out of our business. You'll be fine. Don't forget something we could have done and we did one favor for you, okay? You were harboring a criminal. I could easily bring it up to my attorney anytime. My money's as good as anybody else's money. He'll take it on. Trust me on it. Don't push me. Make your shows. Talk about cooking. Do what you normally do. Do your gardening. Stay out of trouble. You don't want to make things worse for your boyfriend or you don't want anything happening to yourself legally. I would just do your shows. Be quiet. And I'll tell you what, I'll make a deal. We won't push the subject of Barry anymore. We just let the law go where it's going to go. But I'm going to tell you right away, there is no negotiating about Barry's situation. Me and Gilda have decided that. Right, Gilda? Yeah. That's it. Let the law do... Let the justice system do what it needs to do okay and that's about all i can do i'm sorry that your boyfriend's such a fucking loser you decided to be with him nobody forced you to be with him you have no future with him but that's your business it's your business you know it's your future you're writing you're, you're playing with your own future but you know, I wish you well in life and just be aware that you're going to have to face the consequences of your boyfriend's future. Unless something, a divine intervention happens, I'm not saying it can. I've got, I, you know, I have an open mind. I just can't see that happening. And if it did, I'd be awfully surprised. Awfully surprised. 
But the way things look now, it's not going very well for your boyfriend. I don't think it's ever going to go well for him. Face the reality. You have no future with him, okay? A big shoe, sis. A really big shoe today. Ken, how come you didn't donate to my show? Jiminy Cricket, Ken Unger. I mean, what the fuck? Really, you people are really tight wads. I know, I know. You're afraid you're going to be attacked by other people to donate to my wonderful big shoes. And I usually put on a big shoe all the time. Even Gogo Bobo's sister comes on occasionally and donates to my big shoes. Ken, I've seen you donate before. What's your excuse? You like to come on my show. Where's the donations, folks? Yeah, we're on a platform. We make no bones about that. We're on a fucking platform, and why not? Got no embarrassment about that. Get PayPal, Frank, and I would have sent a long time ago. Ah, uh, Pete, I told you, man. You know, that's an excuse. It ain't that cheap. Look, it's the price of doing business. Yeah, I know YouTube takes their share. It's business. It's called business. If I was running the operation, I'd be getting that too. It's the price of doing business. Either you pay taxes on something you buy or whatever, okay? Everybody has an excuse. Everyone has an excuse. We'll consider. Uh, Troll Center says that Gogo Bobo's sister, you missed us finding out that Frank has steely determination and ruthlessness abandoned that equals almost anyone in history. Very creative words, Troll Hunter, but you make me sound like a demon. It's not ruthlessness, really. It's justice. You've got to change your words. An eye for an eye, perhaps. But, uh, you know, when shit happens and you feel you have to do something, you do it. If it's warranted to do, and this time it was warranted to do that. Well, you know, when you do wrong, you got to pay for your wrong. If you really did wrong. Not hearsay, not just words because somebody don't like you. I'm talking about if somebody really, really did something really wrong and so fucking criminal with the words or actions that they need to be addressed. Give in, Ken Unger, give in. I'm going to leave this on just a little while longer. I can take care of something, you know what I'm saying? Let's see if Ken Unger really is a good part of my show. We see him flinging money to everybody. And he wants to use excuse. If you get PayPal, then I'll give money to you. I don't have PayPal, okay? I don't have PayPal. I don't know when I'll have PayPal, even if I ever will have PayPal. I told you, the money is not the big issue on here, Kenny. Kenny, it's just the appreciation of the channel. You know you love listening to my shows. You listen to every one of them. So does everybody else. It's just called appreciation. Believe me, your donation is not going to pay for my meal tonight, okay? I'm just making a point. Kevin Shelton, put your hot woman on and you will get super chat. No, I don't go that low. No way. I already did a show with her. It's probably still on there. I didn't get super chat on that, but that was actually an upload. Why you put me, uh, my face there? You People think I'm a horse face. Yeah, this, I mean, well, you, you call her a horse face, right? Yeah. She's probably the most... You call a lot of things to... Uh, you, you call a lot of words to say about me. Can't be that cheap, Tana Longer. Look, I have to pay taxes on shit out here too, man. <laughs> pay taxes to go to the store to buy food, right? We don't argue that. Hey, whatever, man, it's okay. It's okay. Ken, it's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not going to start because you don't want to make a donation. You're worried about... YouTube taking their share, but you know, I've seen you give super chats in the past to people that weren't if asking you give, for. You give. Right. Gilda That's said, it. if you give, you give. That's it. That's it. No more story. No more story. That's all. It just shows me who's appreciative of my channel and who's not. I'll know. Well, I'm not into wrenches anyway on my show. Yeah. I've had, actually, in the past, I've had Super Chat. Do you want to put my face there in your live screen? No. Nope. I'm not selling my horse face. <laughs> Kevin Shelfon says, I don't call her no name. She is a beautiful woman and especially has beautiful legs. Oh, you got beautiful legs now. Actually, she does. I just love what he called me. <laughs> what did he call you? Huh? Say, in YouTuber. Oh, what I just said. Yeah. Oh. Actually, Gilda's not a bad looking woman. I, I tell you what, I've looked at the girlfriends or wives of a lot of people on here, and let me tell you something. I'm very proud of what I have. 
I really am. I've seen some of the girlfriends and wives and some of that shit on some YouTubers. And holy shit, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Evan, I lucked out. Evan, I got eight kids. I'm yeah. just look good. <laughs> yeah, she's looking awfully good for a woman with, with a baseball, with a basketball team, huh? Looking pretty damn good. Ken Unger says, I never given a super chat in 15 years, only on YouTube if I use PayPal. Okay. <laughs> Ken, it's okay. Keep in mind, I removed you from my channel in the past, and I'm not doing that no more. And I always accepted you back on. You know, show a little appreciation now and then. That's all I'm saying. You don't have to support me. I'm not asking you to support me. It's all for the channel. If this fucking computer breaks down, that's right. That's right. If it breaks down, there can't be no live shows anymore. I'll have to replace that. And I will only use YouTube donations to buy another computer. Everything is for the show. Everything is for the show, for the channel. Just keep that in mind. Okay. No, I'm not going to definitely, you know, I'm not going to be putting Gilda on camera. If you want to see her, I think that video is still on there when me and Gilda, we did an upload. And you can see our interaction with each other. Jack off, whatever you fucking want to do. Perverts. Yeah. But she's mine, all mine, and I'm hers. And that's just the way it is till the day I depart this planet. That's it. She will do good for me. I will do good for her. We will do good for each other. And yes, again, I have seen what some of these people's girlfriends look like on here. And let me tell you something. They fail to compare. They fail to compare. No names. No names. <laughs> I'm telling you, I did something right in my life. I'll tell you that. I certainly did. I gotta play that theme again. This is for the uh, copycat plays this one all the time. No, that's not it. Oh, here it is. As we get beyond the advertisements on here. No damage. No damage. No nourishment. People find them to help. Oh, shit. Here we go. Well, that's pretty desperate to make money is to put your girl on here in a skimpy outfit. If your show cannot handle uh, or deserve to get any kind of super chats, you you have to go that low to go uh, disrespect your woman and put her on show scantily dressed, and you're a fuck ass. We want to see a 20 spot out there in the next 10 minutes. We want to see a 20 spot, and we're going to walk away from this show today very happy that my audience cares, and I have a better attitude about my people here on my channel. Hey, got Gilda on today to say a few words. What's that word? Think about it.
There you go, folks. There's my new theme song here. I still like the original. Yeah, like I was saying, in all honesty, and I try to be honest on my show, some of the women and some of the girlfriends of these guys on YouTube are absolutely beastly looking. In other words, guys, I wouldn't touch these women with your dick. Why don't I just be frank and say that? I wouldn't touch them with your dick. I got lucky. I got, you, know, you know the thing is, too? Shit. She's 48 years old and looks better than most of these young women that these guys have. Seriously. She's 48 years old. She's an adult. Not a fucking minor. Not a fucking, you know, cradle robbing situation. We're both adults. I think we're the only couple on here on YouTube. No, she's not part of YouTube, really. But I'm probably the only guy on here that has a woman that certainly compliments his age and vice versa. I've seen, with my own eyes, I've seen a lot of these people on here, they're girlfriends. And I'm going to tell you the truth. And I'm not trying to insult anybody. It's not my intention. They say this and that about Gil, the horse face and all that shit. Well, I'll tell you what, if horses looked like her, yeah, I think people are just jealous that I got a attractive woman. 48. 48. And she's still looking good. 48. 48. Seriously. And she's looking better than these young women that these guys are marrying and dating. Did you ever see some of the wives and girlfriends of the YouTubers on here? And you know what I'm talking about. That's why we both laugh. And they make a statement about Gilda. Horse face or this or that or this or that. We laugh it off because, well, we know better. We've seen what's out there. We've seen who's dating who. And 48, she's an adult woman. Still looking damn good for her age. Kevin Shelfont says, All the creeps that talk about her being blown out and roast beef, and that's nasty talk, would not be able to talk if they was around her for real. No, they would No matter what my age is, they believe me, they, would. they wouldn't dare to do that. All a bunch of cowards. And, you know, she's not taking that shit to heart. You know? Not at all. She understands it's YouTube. However, as the boyfriend of her, I do take it to heart. But at the same time, I could laugh it off because I know what I have and I know what they have. There's no comparison whatsoever. I can't think of one person on here. I don't want to name a bunch of names on here. I don't want to get too personal. But if I were to name the names on here of guys with girlfriends or wives, you'd understand what I'm talking about. There ain't nothing special on here. I've even seen popular shows run by... Filipinas, I still haven't found one attractive woman on this genre, even the ones that have their own shows. Nope. Well, maybe my taste in yours is different, but, you know. Kevin Chalfant says most of them have 20-year-olds that got nothing even in common. But that's, that's a good point. There is nothing in common except they both have sexual organs that work together, and that's about it. And one has a wallet, and one has a orifice, and that's about the only, uh, called the symbiotic relationship, I guess. He's got the money, she's got the equipment, if you know what I'm saying. And they, they display him around like a piece of meat. Like a piece of meat they display. Look at the one guy, no names mentioned, that had his woman on camera at the bar, his wife. His wife grabbing at her breasts on camera, showing such disrespect. And then his wife goes on a dance floor, dancing around sexually, with another woman and she's deep throating her on the dance floor and they're going to talk about me i mean the disrespect it's horrible man but her own woman ken unger says i've been with my girlfriend for seven years i remember when he didn't have a girlfriend i remember a long time ago she's she's 30 now and i'm 57 well it's certainly better than uh being 18 years old or 16 years old or something you know but mine is 48 48 nobody in town looks at us in a weird way when they look at us in town, no matter where we go, they don't even bat an eye at us because they're saying that this is a, an, a, an adult gentleman, she's an adult woman, and they're not going to talk under their breath about it. However, you'd be surprised how many Filipinos talk about when they see these, you know, April to December romances, whatever you want to call them. We got the months wrong, but don't matter. Uh, and they see this old, grizzly-looking guy. Big belly. I mean, just yesterday... I was in town because we went out to eat and there's a particular place that it's a bar and they were outside with the tables and they got all the foreigners out there. Every single one of them had a big old belly smoking cigarettes and drink. They all gather together. It's not my gig. They, they become old. 
They come out here with pre-existing health conditions and they die out here. And these guys you see walking, I've seen one time a guy who fits the description, hairy, fat, grizzly looking, gray haired, walking with this young, rather attractive Filipina, I must say, with a baby carriage. Jesus Christ, when I see that, it's like it almost creates a visceral effect and I want to vomit. Uh, Kevin says, uh, Chiffon says, yeah, and that guy goes on the uh, Yacht Show and says he ain't never said he has a harem or done anything inappropriate things with his wife. What a liar. Yeah, he is lying. He, he's really disrespectful. That shows me what he thinks of his partner, okay? It's really disgusting. And when I seen that, it told me everything about that guy that I need to know. Everything. There's no turning back on those thoughts. Because what he displayed in that bar, there is absolutely no excuse for that. None. How could she respect him after that? Well, maybe she don't care. Some people have a relationship where it's about the money. You know, he's taking good care of her. She's living a good life. He's got money. That's all she cares for. She's got children from him. He's, uh, they're being taken care of. Maybe that's all she cares about. I can't tell you for sure. You have to make your own evaluations from that. But some Filipinos, they do that. They don't care what he does. But I think you draw the line on something like this. It's just like, you know, when Brevis, and I got another one for you. When Brevis, you remember the one where uh, he was on somebody's live and... Uh, his girlfriend was standing, she's pregnant at the time, she didn't have her baby, and she was standing like right in back of him, they're in the kitchen, and he's talking to the guys, he was live on camera, and he's talking to the guys on there, and the exact words were, do you know what good pussy is? He posed that question. And of course, the guy said, no, tell us. And he goes, new pussy. Well, what does that say? And his girlfriend was right there. Which makes you wonder, what's with this relationship? Is it a true relationship? Is there love involved? Because maybe you guys see things different than I do, but I would never say that at all, nor would I say that in front of my girlfriend. That the best pussy is new pussy, so what he's saying is that what he's got is getting pretty old and I need to get some fresh pussy. That's a statement that he made himself that I didn't make up. He said that. He said that. Kevin Chiffon says all his minions, oh, you mean I know who you're talking about, let him get away with constant lies and weird sex life that because he pays them off. Like when he was with that one, with the wart all the time. Oh, yeah, I know, with the one with the wart. <laughs> no, they never had sex together, but they were laying in the same bed in the hotel. Him and this other one with initial C. Yeah, I remember that. I absolutely remember that. He doesn't do those kind of, they're just friends, that's all. They're just friends. Wow, these guys, and they talk about me? They talk about me? They insult me? For what? Really? And look at the shit they're trying to pull off. Okay, guys. I gotta go. Thank you for that very generous donation. Guys, you gotta show a little bit of respect to the show every now and again. That's what keeps the show flowing here. That's what keeps the show flowing here. It's a great incentive when you see people donating to the show. I'm no different, well, I'm different than Philly in the Philippines in a lot of ways, but I'm no different than him or anybody else that they like to see a little appreciation on their show. Okay, you think Philly the Philippines does his show for nothing? You think Big Kevin does his show for nothing? Well, you'd be wrong. I'm no different than these guys. Well, I'm a lot different than these guys, but in the sense of people showing appreciation for their show. Yeah, I have the same expectations. You come here, you enjoy my show, but then you cheap out on me. Yeah, it doesn't give me the incentive to keep on making actually live streams. It keeps on making me just want to do these uploads and just go kind of go with the territory. Just, just do that. Either way, I'm not getting rich on my show. It's not that it's that important, but it's, it's nice to be appreciated. I'm not going to go bang a pot, make an ass of myself on here. Okay. 
I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to lie about doing some fasting when you're not really fasting at all, it's just to get the attention of people. I'm not going to put my girlfriend on with a skimpy outfit. I'm not going to do any of the above. I shouldn't have to do any of the above, but still get appreciation from my viewers for my topics and my content. I'm not these other channels. Sorry, I know you want the extreme drama on here. You know, you want dancing girls and whatever you want on here. I'm not going to provide that with you. I respect my girlfriend too much to put her on here scantily dressed to try to get people to donate to my show. Come on, get fucking real. Anyway, the lovely, did I say lovely Gilda said what she needed to say on here? I'm very happy with that. That should have been donations right then and there. Should have been should have been although she was mostly talking in her language i think she got her point through and she meant what she said and i have a pretty good idea of what she did say everybody wants to see gilda on here i'm not going to put her on here just to make money that's a form of prostitution that would be prostitution in a sense of the word and anyone who puts their woman on here as a regular on their show and has them running around in a bathing suit or doing something stupid. That's prostitution of the woman as far as I'm concerned. That means you don't respect her. It's one thing to have her come on here and say a few words. To put her on as a regular part of my show is never going to happen. It's never happened. It never will happen. I'll leave it at that. Oh, and by the way, uh, Roberto was supposed to be doing another show, and he's going to be talking about my girlfriend. Now, that is one of the lists of one of the lowest people on here. Now, not only has that guy threatened me, but he's also threatened my girlfriend. And he's the one that started a lot of shit off on here saying that she's a call girl. Well, you know how I feel about people like that. Oh, I don't like the guy. I never will like the guy. But he will never say that to my face. He will never call her that to her face. I'll guarantee you that. That's what a coward this guy is. He don't even live with his own wife. Seriously. Talking about me? What a low life. What a fucking low life. And all the people on Triple R. Listen to them kissing each other's butts. And the yellow man is kissing Aloe's butt. Big time. It's the little dog, big dog syndrome type of thing. I gotta adhere with the so-called big boys to protect me. Then when they do something wrong to him, it's back to normal again. He'll be talking shit about them left and right. But if you give money to his show, that's the way he works. You give money to his show, he loves you to death. Take away a membership on his show, he's going to be pissed. You're now his enemy. That's the way it works on here. I require no memberships on my show here. Nope. I can make a members only on here if I wanted to. But I don't want to do that. Yeah. Oh, see that train of mind you're in, Troll Hunter. Be careful messing with Alan. He's a faceless, nameless fucking troll. That's all he fucking is. And he don't do his own dirty work. Oh, looks like the water man is here. We got the water delivery here. I was waiting for the other guy to come over to start working on my place. I may just have her tell him to forget about it. I want something done. I want something done here. Especially when I've given work to people before, I should be a priority. I should be a priority. Not in their own time, especially when I've given people a lot of work. Tell me when you're gonna come over, when you're gonna do the job. We're not gonna sit around here all day waiting for you. I don't work that way. Okay, look, I gotta do a few things on. I'll keep the shit going over here. I'm gonna leave the show on for a while. And if you guys wanna converse with each other, you're welcome. I don't know if anybody else has a show on. I really don't know. But I try to do that on some of my shows. Give you your own forum. I even do that for you. I give you your own forum to talk on. Not many people allow that. I do that every now and again. I get a wild hair up my ass. And I said, let these people have their own forum because a lot of them don't have their own YouTube show. I even do that for you. You should be getting more money. Some of these guys get hundreds a show. Sad. Well, Troll Hunter, how about you donating? Start there. Or did you? Was that you that donated to me? No, Barangay Bob did. We start somewhere. Yeah, I know I should be getting a lot more money. Some guys get hundreds of dollars a day. But you all come over here to my channel all the time. No, Frank ain't out e-begging. Frank is just putting the word out. That's all it is. You know, nothing's ever stopped me from saying something, right? That's just who I am. And I basically tell you what's on my mind. If I think people are shortchanging me on my channel, I talk about it. 
call it e-begging. You can call it whatever you want. I don't give a shit. I've been called worse. <laughs> Believe me, I have. That's why somebody's in jail. Somebody else might be in jail. Yeah. Nobody wants to let loose. You know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because they're not very, uh, let's put it this way. They're afraid that they're going to be attacked by other people that may not like them. That's what it comes down to. It's not that they don't want to give money to my show. They're showing that they're cowards. That they think somebody's going to attack them. They can't use their own mind and their own willpower to donate to my show. That, I think, is the sad part of all of it. You know, people have their, they don't have their own free will. That they're worried about a nameless, faceless troll or trolls on here. That's the sad part. Okay, guys. Like him to race to the ranks of, 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 of people who become citizens of, 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 of that kind of society. I tell them to send them the fuck back to where they belong. Either to the cotton fields or, or if uh, half monkeys like him to race to the ranks of, 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 of people who become citizens of, 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 of that kind of society. I tell them to send them the fuck back to where they belong. Either to the cotton fields or, or, or if uh, half monkeys. You're just allowing him to intimidate you. Half monkeys like him to race to the ranks of, 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 of people who become citizens of, 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 of that kind of society. I tell them to say Well, I feel sorry for you, Troll Hunter, that you don't have the, uh, you know, the gumption to stand up for people, to stand up for yourself, stand up for your own beliefs. You let trolls like that win. They want to see fear. Them to fuck back to where they belong, either to the cotton fields or, or if uh, half monkeys like him to race to the ranks of, 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 of people who become citizens of, 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 of that kind of society. I tell them to send them the fuck back to where they belong. If uh, half monkeys like him to race to the ranks of, 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 of people who become citizens of, 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 of that kind of society. I tell them. you guys are being told, I am no longer with Sean. Me and Sean broke up. I don't give a damn what that old motherfucker says. He don't know shit, bro. He can sit and he can assume all damn day long, bro. We all know he's a liar. That's one thing we do know about him. He's a liar. He's a con artist. You know? Yeah, we all you guys are being told, I am no longer with Sean. Me and Sean are broke up. I don't give a damn what that old motherfucker says. He don't know shit, bro. He can sit and he can assume all damn day long, bro. We all know he's a liar. That's one thing we do know about him. He's a liar. He's a con artist. You know? Yeah, we, we all know what he is, too, you know? So, you know, we all know what else he is, too, as well. I know exactly what the fuck he is. What's up, Scott? Are you telling, are we, are we telling you all about my life right now? Cool beans. Well, I'm glad you know so much about my live show, bro. Because on here, it's real talk, you know? That, that there's no there's no way around it, bro. That this is all, everything on my channel is all real talk, bro. It's all real talk. There's nothing here that's fake or... Something like that. Everything on my channel is real. It's a real deal. Hold it up. It's about what he tells you guys. I don't give a shit what he says. Because <clears throat> for one, I know the truth. And that's all. As long as I know the truth, it's all that matters. You know what I mean? I know the truth. He doesn't. He don't know how to tell the truth, bro. He wouldn't know the truth if John slapped him in the burger face, bro. He wouldn't know anything about the truth. And that's sad to say. It's a 68 year old man that complains, moans, and groans about every damn thing. Why his woman is with him, I have no idea. I don't see what the fuck she sees in him, bro. How the fuck could you be with somebody who wants to complain, moan, groan, whine, and cry all the time? Serious. How, how could you be? Pretty funny stuff, huh? Well, what's up, Kevin? How you doing? Cool beans. That's right, bro. Everything's unscripted, everything is real. There's nothing fake on my channel whatsoever. <laughs> I like there is on his. Why are you playing my show, bro? Are you a fucking idiot? So, you really believe yourself in, in things you say, right? You believe everything you say, right? So you believe everything you actually say, huh? I don't know if I can tell you there. Don't nobody believe you. We all know you're a liar, bro. We all know you're a scammer. I know exactly what the fuck you are, bro. 
We all know that you're that we all know you're a scammer. We all know you're a liar. We all we we we, we know all this about you, bro. I mean, th- there's nothing you can fucking do that's gonna make anybody believe any different. And with you saying that I'm an overstayer, that you know that I uh, that apple doesn't fall far from the tree, you know, it's like my father, you know. Where, where's your proof of this, cuz? I want your proof of everything you're saying about. It. <laughs> that's the best one. Proof is you're in jail for overstaying, Jack. If you don't have hard copy proof, if you don't have liable evidence, don't be talking about me, man. You, you ain't got shit to be saying, saying about me at all. Fucking thing do you have to say something? No, that's viable evidence. Yeah, about me, bro. You have no right to be talking about me, none, none whatsoever. You have no right to be talking about me, or anybody else for that fucking matter. All you do is run your fucking mouth. Run your mouth, mouth, excuse me. You run your mouth, you run that mouth. He runs that mouth, mouth. He runs that mouth, not mouth, but mouth. He runs that mouth. He runs that mouth. Loves running that mouth. One thing about him, guys, he loves running that mouth. I don't understand why he's running that mouth so much, but he does. Well, you know, uh, running the mouth is what got him to where he is now. Man, I love talking outside of his fucking neck. Running that mouth. Why are you always running run that mouth? Been tying a bum. Been tying a buffoon. Why are you always running that mouth? Over in that mouth, don't you, Ben Tyan Buffoon? Huh? By running your mouth, Ben Tyan Buffoon? Well, y'all know that's How many times has he said running your mouth? What you like to do anyway. So, you know, we all know that you're a bum. We all know that you're a liar. But you try to put, you try to put your shit on everybody else, which isn't okay. Everything you said, you said about everybody else, right? I said to say because, because the thing you said about me is not true, because ain't none of that shit me, bro. So you said you're talking about yourself. So you're actually talking about yourself to people, and that's sad. You shouldn't be doing that, bro. You shouldn't be telling people your, your problems that, that, that you have, man. You should not be telling people the problems that you have, because people will use your problems against you, man. Don't you know this? You're too stupid to realize. Huh? Are you that fucking dumb? Great I mean, stuff. you gotta be the dumbest motherfucker who walk in the face of this earth. Come on, I'm not done nothing to nobody. I'm an innocent victim. Bro, you talk bad about people all the time. You always run that fucking mouth. Always. Don't let that alligator ass overload that crocodile ass. You gonna let that alligator mouth overload that crocodile ass, boy. What are you gonna do? How the fuck you ever do? We will come after your family. Your family, for us, for the Kester boys, is a legitimate target. <laughs> the Chester boy. <laughs> no partner, no woman that he's intimate with. And, like, the only thing he has is YouTube. And if you say anything he disagrees with, you're blocked. So he doesn't tolerate a difference of opinion. And sounds like, sounds just... like someone else. <laughs> so. Keep fucking with Dave, okay? Frank, please. Frank, I'm gonna tell you what the fuck your name is. Keep fucking with Frank. Dave, come fuck with me. I want you to come fuck with me, you bitch. Come fuck with me. Come on. You're not getting to me. I'm telling you. Come on, fuck boy. Come on, Dave. Are you motherfucking man enough? Hey, Lone, are you man enough? You fucking cowards. That's all the fuck you bitches are. You're cowards. You won't come face a motherfucking man because you're a bitch. The link's in the motherfucking chat box. Come face me, you fucking queers. Come on, I'm waiting. So, keep fucking with Dave, okay? Frank, please. Frank, I'm gonna tell you what the fuck your name is. Keep fucking with Frank. Dave! Hey, guys. Well, I'll be right back. This is when he was going to beat up the girl in Minganilla in his bedroom. You guys can leave comments all day long. It's fine. Enjoy yourselves. I'm going to go have some fun. You guys can listen. He's going to have some fun, meaning he's going in the bedroom 
to abuse the chick in his bedroom. He calls that having fun. You understand this? You're going to be blessed with you. We're going to go back and forth. It's your heart. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to call you out right now. When I couldn't have been time, I'm going to call you out. And I'm going to film it. I'm going to show you where I'm at. Come by yourself. I'm bringing nobody because ain't nobody going to be with me. And we're going to see if you'll show up. But I don't think you will because you're a cow. We'll never show up. That's the problem with you. It's the outrightest. You showed up. And Ricky didn't set you up, bro. That was not a setup. I'm, I'm just going to clarify that now. Bullshit. I didn't talk to Ricky. I didn't know where y'all were going. That's how I found you. Boom, baby. Boom, boom, boom. In your house. I'll, I'll, I'll tell him, you know, I'll, I'll give him, I'll, I'll give him a bird's eye view of your house. You know, this and the other. You know, this way they, they want to come visit you. That, that's their choice. That's their decision. You know, I had nothing to do with it. This and the other. I'll, I'll, I'll tell them, you know, I'll, I'll give them, I'll, I'll give them a bird's eye view of your house. You know, this and the other. You know? Yeah, you're hearing it yourself, folks. Just when they, they want to come visit you, that, that's their choice, that's their decision. That's why he's such a sought-after gentleman, foreigner, the Filipinos out here. You know, I have nothing to do with it. Just that and the other. I'll, I'll, I'll tell them, you know, I'll, I'll, give them, I'll, I'll give them a bird's eye view of your house. You know, this and the other. You know, just when they, they want to come visit you, that, that's their choice, that's their decision. You know, I have nothing to do with it. So you abused your kid, right? You abused your daughter. Now, this is why he's in jail. This is just a sample. The grandkids are fucking terrified of you, according to what your daughter tells me. And Barry's girlfriend, if you're listening, this is why I got to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me, a segundo. All right. We'll get to the point in a minute. Oh, good. Okay. This is exactly, and I'm addressing this to Barry's girlfriend. What you've been hearing on my show is exactly why... He's in jail. Okay, there's no excuse your boyfriend could make. If you want to believe all the bullshit coming out of your out of his mouth, that's that's your thing. But this is the stuff he does. Wait, I'm her. So you so you abused your kid, right? You abused your daughter. The grandkids are fucking terrified of you. According to what your daughter tells me. I'm to her. So you so you abused your kid, right? You abused your daughter. So what he's saying, I abuse my daughter, I abuse my grandkids, besides calling me a sexual predator. And you're wondering why your boyfriend is in jail? You're wondering why nobody likes your boyfriend? You're wondering why people look at him as a low-life scumbag? Listen more. Your grandkids are fucking terrified of you, according to what your daughter tells me. I'm to her. Never talk so to you, my daughter. So you abused your kid, right? You abused your daughter. Let's watch the grandkids are fucking terrified of you. According to what your daughter tells me. I'm to talk to her. Why would your grandkids be... This is what a prized boyfriend you have. Listen on, girl. Listen on. This is the man that you decided to have a relationship with. I, uh, terrified of you, man. What the fuck did you do? What the hell did you do? Make your grandkids so damn scared of you, bro. You fucking pathetic, cuz. Listen for yourselves, folks. It's really pathetic. It really is. Well, who's sitting in jail, me or you? Your grandkids are scared of you. Maybe you need to think a little harder. Thirsty for more? <laughs> okay, we'll find you more. We're enjoying this. I'm kind of multitasking right now, so. <laughs> Let's see. Knock on the door. And I get up, I answer the door. And you say something stupid, I'm gonna fart. I don't give a fuck about this book, but I'm gonna fuck you up on sight. Whether I get to film it or not, you don't get fucked up on sight. Because I promise when I'm whooping your ass, Jay gonna be, be filming it the entire time. And whether I whoop your ass or not, if Jay jumps on you and starts beating your ass after he gets done, I'm gonna get on you. 
you gonna get two ass whoopers in one day, two ass whoopers in one motherfucking day. They're gonna have one ass we're gonna have two. So think about this. Alo, John Doe, Popeye, Dave, Grizz and Sabu, Mexican Jew, Roberto Dunn, all seven of you fuck boys. Think about this. Dude. You motherfuckers that are here that's making threats and put the hits on my head. Dude, it don't scare me. I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of nobody else. Threatening my life don't do you any good because I'm not scared to die. I'm I am far from afraid of dying, motherfucker. And all the other bullshit you're doing? What the fuck you doing, man? The only thing you do is making me laugh. Really? See, this channel's all about the trauma. Bamble. You laughing now? Wants it. So, therefore, all you motherfucking bitch. Here, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to put the link in the chat one more time. So, you son of bitches can come on. And I'll be right here. I'm watching. I'm waiting for fucking queers to come on so I can keep you the fuck out. Come on over and say something. I'll be quiet. I'll give you more time to talk. If I like what you gotta say, go. No. Come on. I'm gonna give you ten seconds. One. He's got his fingers up, trying to count. I swear to God, he's got his fingers up. He's trying to count ten seconds. I'm not kidding. No. Oh. So none of you pussy want to come over here and say anything, right? I know my subs would want to, but they know that I'm gonna roll. So my subs are sitting there laughing at you guys, <clears throat> right? My sub is allowed that you got because they know that you're pretty fucking mumbling on your ass. Hey, Thunder, I can't use the link in the chat. Hold on a minute, Thunder. I'm going to send you a Gmail. Wait, wait, what's that? Phil's house. What's at Derek's house. What's at Shannon Emma's house. It's taken care of. It's been it's been taken care of for a long period of time because these motherfuckers are where they are. What's so your guys, other friend? You fuck with my sister. You fuck with my friends. You fuck with my family. The Filipinos are going to grab you. If you go in the country and fuck with my uncle, I'm not going to come out alive. That's the uncle that's seven foot eight inches. Remember him? I, I promise you'll come up with a toe tag. So John Doe, Popeye, do all the videos you want to. Hey, come on, you fucking pedophile. Come on here. You know what, JW? See, he didn't just call me a pedophile. He called other people that, too. I understand what you're saying, man. I really... Do, but I want to see this is your boyfriend girl be proud be proof first before I let off say anything to cut it off this is what the fuck he is straight the fuck up that's what the fuck Dave is Dave bring your bitch ass on over come on yeah I'm starting with you come on Dave hey little you're here in some mood come on bring your fucking ass I'll go out here I'll tell you what tomorrow night Dave and I are going to El Gecko tomorrow night around 7pm we're going to El Gecko tomorrow night Talks talk, talks a brave game, doesn't house. he? Yeah, you know your brother wants to come over here. You know, you know you don't want to come see your brother. You know damn well yeah. you want to come see me because okay. I don't have the uh, because I don't have the money to fly home. So you and my mom can take a trip and come see me. Come on now. But half the stuff that you've done told me and Michael kind of scares the hell out of anybody as the thought of going to go over there. But being here, you know your brother wants to come over here. You know, you know. <laughs> now, what was going on in this scene is Barry with a chick on his lap screwing her. Okay, we're not going to put that on camera, but he's got a girlfriend on his lap. I think that was Minganilla. And he's got her going up and down on his lap. And of course, he has a bad back. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, my God. That's the one that he was uh, abusing in the, in, the, in the background on a, a, a recent clip I put on there. I'm going to go have some fun. Where did he, he went to have some fun, all right. He went to go uh, manhandle this woman that he had, which is the same woman that's on camera right now. That's your boyfriend. That's your boyfriend. Something to be proud of, huh? Something to be real proud of. Yeah, right. Here you go. Everything speaks for itself. Gotta have a man like that. What woman wouldn't want a man like that? I mean, seriously. He's a keeper. He's an absolute keeper. That's what you think. Oh my God. That's pretty sad. Oh. <laughs> and the look on his face. <laughs> this dumbass fucking look on his face. I mean, okay. Ginger's next. I got to assist in something here, guys, for a second. Hold on. Come on, guys. Light up that goddamn scream. I'm giving you some goddamn entertainment here today, dudes. Okay. I didn't even know you had a vlog, to be honest with you. That's a boyfriend to be proud of. 
damn proud of. This is the one where he's in the bedroom assaulting his girlfriend. Yeah, he goes, excuse me, put the camera on. You guys can leave comments all day long, it's fine. Black and then. Enjoy yourselves. I'm gonna go have some fun. You guys can listen. Okay, we're gonna to come to a close here because my battery is about out. I think we had some fun today. I'm a little disappointed with my audience. I must say, I'm a little disappointed. We had one donation on here, and uh, shit, man, I've given you two hours and 21 minutes of my time. Uh, yeah, well, tweak the platform. How about some fucking donations on here? Hey, I come straight out with it, man. I'm putting a lot of time into this shit. I get one donation from somebody. Yet a piece of shit like this scumbag would go on and donations would be flying all over the place. Not anymore, but that's kind of the way it happens. I'm not Big Kevin. I'm not the, uh, the troll master on YouTube. But I made the speech too many times before. So what do you want? What do you want? You want a comment free section? You want me to just do uploads? It's kind of heading to that direction pretty fast, I must say. I'm on the platform. I'm on the platform, you know. Little donations now and then. Sweeten the pie. I gotta plug this thing in. Sweeten the pie. Don't need no artificial sweeteners in here either, man. You seem to dig my shit on here. And I lie to come on here to make comments, don't I? I most certainly do. It's kind of an imbalanced situation we got going on here. Very much so. How do you kind of decide where you want to stand with my show? We'll go on from here. And I got some chores to do and I got to get off this damn thing. I'm, I'm way over my time. It's getting hotter out and I have some chores I need to do. And I wasn't going to wait this long. Okay, I'm plugged in. I'll keep this on for a little bit. You guys seem to be having fun with each other, making comments. So go ahead and do that. I got to take care of some shit. Thank you very much. And uh, light up that screen, folks. Light up that screen. A lot of oxygen being wasted right now. For one donation. Get with the situation, man. You're the number one vlogger? I don't know. Guess I'm not because uh, my screen don't light up. I don't see no Christmas tree. I don't see no rainbows. And I'm not banging a pot on my head either. We need at least 20 bucks before we get off this show. 20 bucks. Like Jerry always says, Jerry always says, come on, you got to donate. So I won't get off here unless you donate so-and-so to Kevin. You actually have a show, Heidel? I didn't know that. Of course, you're not going to be on camera. I hope you enjoyed the Jordan material there, which is all stuff he put on his show. So it could become public audio. That's that's not a problem. Even the imagery. It's, uh, you know, it's really, it, it really depicts what this man is all about. And I know it makes us all wonder why would a woman date a man like this? That's like probably the number one question on YouTube right now is why? Why do you want to harbor a criminal? Why do you want to be with somebody that's just going to spell trouble for the rest of your life? I don't get it. I don't get it. And we're trying to understand this, but you know, people make their own decisions without needing permission from anybody else. And she doesn't need permission to date him. Absolutely not at all. She doesn't. But what she needs to think about is the real reasons why is she with him. And her family has to understand too. Why are they allowing their daughter, sister, whatever, to date a man of this caliber if they care for their sister or daughter whatever the situation may be why oh why would they encourage this relationship it sounds like a lot of dysfunctional shit going on i don't know man it sounds very dysfunctional to me okay it's yours channel folks when we get about a total of 50 dollars in donations we'll uh close out the show tis the season to be merry and to be giving after all, I've given back to you folks. So I'm saying, so I'm saying. It's your time to shine, folks. It's your time to shine. Solid inch, about a, an inch worth of space here. Before it was like this. Two months ago, the belly touched the wood like that. Two months ago, and I was at that time. I was uh, between here. And here, a full solid inch, about a, an inch worth of space here. Before, it was like this. Two months is the size at 22 days. So, and, and I can't show you the site that I'm on because I don't want um, the flag. I don't want the flag as the size at 22 days. So, and... and I wish you guys were being told I am no longer with Sean. Me and Sean broke up. 
I don't give a damn what that old motherfucker says. He don't know shit, bro. He can sit and he can assume all damn day long, bro. We all know he's a liar. You know, that's one thing we do know about him. He's a liar. He's a con artist. You know? We yeah, have we all what you guys are being told. I am no longer with Sean. Me and Sean are broke up. I don't give a damn what that old motherfucker says. He don't know shit, bro. He can sit and he can assume all damn day long, bro. We all know he's a liar. You know, that's one thing we do know about him. He's a liar. He's a con artist. You know? We yeah, have we all what you guys are being told, I am no longer with Sean. Me and Sean are broke up. I don't give a damn what that old motherfucker says. He don't know shit, bro. He can sit and he can assume all damn day long, bro. We all know he's a liar. You know, that's one thing we do know about him. He's a liar. He's a con artist. You know? We yeah, have we all what you guys are being told, I am no longer with Sean. Me and Sean are broke up. I don't give a damn what that old motherfucker says. He don't know shit, bro. He can sit and he can assume all damn day long, bro. We all know he's a liar. You know, that's one thing we do know about him. He's a liar. He's a con artist. You know? But yeah, we all what you guys are being told. I am no longer with Sean. Me and Sean are broke up. I don't give a damn what that old motherfucker says. He don't know shit, bro. He can sit and he can assume all damn day long, bro. We all know he's a liar. You know, that's one thing we do know about him. He's a liar. He's a con artist. You know, yeah, we, we all know what he is too, you know, so, you know, we all know what else he is too as well. I know exactly what the fuck he is. What's up, Scott? I was showing, I was showing you all about my life right now on Cool Beans. Well, I'm glad you know so much about my life show, bro. Because on here, it's real talk, you know, that, that there's no, there's no way around it, bro. This is all, everything on my channel is all real talk, guys. It's all real talk. There's nothing here that's fake or... Something like that. Everything on my channel is real. It's a real deal, holy deal. So it's about what he tells you guys. I don't give a shit what he says. <clears throat> Cause for one, I know the truth. And that's all. As long as I know the truth, it's all that matters. You know what I mean? I know the truth, he doesn't. He don't know how to tell the truth, bro. He wouldn't know the truth that a gentleman slapped him in the front of the face, does. He wouldn't know anything about the truth. And that's sad to say. It's a 68 year old man that complains, moans, and groans about every damn thing. Why his woman is with him, I have no idea. I don't see what the fuck she sees in him, bro. How the fuck could you be with somebody who wants to complain, moan, groan, and whine and cry all the time? Serious. How, how could you be? Well, what's up, Kevin? How you doing? Cool beans. That's right, bro. Everything's unscripted. Everything is real. There's nothing fake on my channel whatsoever. Unlike there is on his. Why are you playing my show, bro? Are you a fucking idiot? So, you really believe yourself in, in things you say, right? You really believe everything that comes out of your mouth, good. I mean, seriously, you believe everything you say, right? So you believe everything you actually say, huh? I don't know if I can tell you there. Does nobody believe you? We all know you're a liar, bro. We all know you're a scammer. I know exactly what the fuck you are. Bro. We all know that you're, that we all know you're a scammer. We all know you're a liar. We all, we, 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 we know all this about you, bro. I mean, that there's nothing you can fucking do that's going to make anybody believe any different. And when you're saying that I'm an overstayer, that, you know, that I, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, you know, it's like my father, you know. Where, where's your proof of this, cuz? I want your proof of everything you're saying about me. If you don't have hard copy proof. Now, that was a great one. Where is he now? In jail for immigration overstay to begin with? If you don't have liable evidence, I don't be talking. Viable evidence. About me, you, you ain't got shit to be say, saying about me at all. Nothing. Not a fucking thing you have to say, say about me, bro. You have no right to be talking about me, none, none whatsoever. You have no right to be talking about or anybody else for that fucking matter. All you do is run your fucking mouth. Run your mouth, mouth, excuse me. You run your mouth, you run that mouth. It runs that mouth, mouth. It runs that mouth, not mouth, but mouth. It runs that mouth. It runs that mouth, it loves running that mouth. I'm thinking about him, guys, he loves running that mouth. Loves running that mouth. I don't understand why he's running that mouth so much, but he does. Man, loves talking outside of his fucking neck. Running that mouth. Why are you always running, running that mouth? Ventai and bum. 
Bantaya buffoon, why are you always running that mouth? Go so running that mouth, don't you, Bantaya buffoon? Huh? By running your mouth, Bantaya buffoon? Well, y'all know that's what you like to do anyway. So, you know. Talk about redundancy. We all know that you're a bum. We all know that you're a liar. You try to put you try to put your shit on everybody else, which isn't okay. Everything you said, you said about everybody else, right? I said to say because because the thing you said about me is not true. Because ain't none of that shit me, bro. So you no, said, that's why you're sitting in a jail cell. And you're talking about yourself. So you're actually talking about yourself to people, and that's sad. You shouldn't be doing that, bro. You shouldn't be telling people your, your problems that, that 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 you have, man. You should not be telling people the problems that you have because people will use your problems against you, man. Don't you know this? You're too stupid to realize. Huh? Are you that fucking dumb? I mean, you gotta be the dumbest motherfucker who won't kind of face this earth. Come on, I'm not done nothing to nobody. I'm an innocent victim. Bro, you talk bad about people all the time. You always run that fucking mouth. Always. Look, so, guys, I'm going to show you. Track my channel you want to. This is what that motherfucker looks like. Look, this is Popeye. This is what Popeye looks like, guys. This is what Popeye looks like. Get a good look. Boy, we'll give you 10 seconds. Still look, guys. Still look, guys. I'm going to show you. Still see me. That's yeah. all I want. I want. Don't I need. I want you to. I dare you. Yeah, all you me. motherfucking bitches, I dare you. <laughs> hey? Barry. Wait, wait. Hold on a minute. Dave, stop hiding behind Halo. Stop hiding behind Popeye. Stop hiding behind Burger. Stop hiding behind John Doe. Stop hiding behind Mason Q. Stop hiding behind Twitchy. Hey, bring your ass here. If you're a man... If you're a real military man like you say you are, motherfucker, my address, I'll give it to you. Come on over here. Come on. Halo's got it. Get out of here give it to you. Come on. See, what I don't like is all these bullies doing this, doing that, right? And you motherfuckers, I seen what you said earlier in, my, in Discord about my sister. <clears throat> really? Guys, Amy, just don't say that right now. Thunder, please, thank you. Now, thank you. But you guys sit and you say all this shit, you run your motherfucking mouth. That's all the This is what you're doing, this is what you should be doing. You know what a woman's doing? You gossip? It's not my sister. My sister loves to gossip. Tammy loves to gossip. I kid you not, my sister yeah. loves to gossip. But when she's had enough, she shuts the fuck up. Gossip is gossip, and all you motherfucking bitches are doing is gossip and ring your motherfucking mouth. Come face a man. Come face a man, motherfucker. I ain't scared of you, big boy. See this? Don't let the motherfucking smile and smile for the fool, you big boy. I got something for you. I promise. I will put you on your knees and make you suck my motherfucking dick and name shit. And you bite it, I'll beat your ass. I'll make you suck my motherfucking dick while I'm feeling it and put it on motherfucking live stream right here or right now on the game. And I'll fuck you in the ass. I will treat you like my stepmother did that boy, Donnie. Back in the day, I will chase you the fuck around until I fuck you in the ass and show you a real man is. You understand what I will film it. Don't think I won't. Don't think I can't get my sister over here to film me fucking you in the ass, motherfucker. Oh, that's disgusting. No, I don't, don't think, think so. For, don't think for a second Michael and my sister would come over to see that. Tammy, Taylor, yeah. Trina, Jasmine would all of them see me do that, y'all. And they don't even know you, but I guarantee you they would watch. My sister would be behind me. Woo! Go, baby. Go, sister. Go, brother. Go, big brother. Go, big brother. Because she knows I would do it. Come on over here. Let me fuck you, Let me fuck you like a prison boy. I don't know an asshole that asshole. You know what I'm saying? I might give you a reach around way out of you know what I'm saying? I might do this to you. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you I might give her a jump and then again if I think I'm fucking my girl ass and blow the quick, you know what I'm saying? So bring your pussy ass on over here, Dave. You're in the bow. Bring your ass over here for being a bitch and hide. That's all I gotta say. Stop hiding. All you mother no, they don't bother me, guys, so you know they don't bother me, no, actually not. But I'll please don't be giving my address out of me. Oh, that's fine. They don't come to your house, Tammy. You ain't got to worry about that. Maybe you just put a bullet in the brain pan and go. You ain't got to worry about that. You got to go. You got to go and what in your top white uh, I'm door. I'm going to move shit, pull the gun back, over the door and say, what the fuck do you want? That's all you got to do. And they'll run the fuck off on those scared girls. No worries. Just, no worries. I got you back, baby. Don't worry. I have Filipino just coming over there. watching you back. Don't worry about all that. Don't worry. It's all taken care of. You're good. You're good. 
There's Filipinos watching your house now, watching Devin Phillips' house, watching Derek's house, watching Shan Emma's house. It's taken care of. It's been it's been taken care of for a long period of time because these minorities where they are. What's your other You fuck with my sister, you fuck with my friends, you fuck with my family, the Filipinos are gonna grab you. If you go in the country and fuck with my uncle, I'm uh, gonna come out alive. I promise you'll come up with a toe tag. So John Doe, Popeyes, you all agree you want to be That's your boyfriend. Come on, you fucking pedophile. Come on here. You know what? There you go with the pedophile thing. I wasn't his only victim. Keep your cars organized. Easy yeah. Here. Well, anyway, let's see if we can get back to that without. Uh, that's her. Uh, that's her boyfriend. Something to be really proud of. No Filipina would want to be with somebody like him. Has to be a reason, because we all haven't figured it out yet. But hey, to each his own, I guess. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Hold on. Well, see. I'll show you something. Well, you know that my sister's here. No reason I don't. He wants to show everybody his dick. I'll show you how big my dick. You know what? You can't believe you're fucking with, dude. I don't give a fuck. This channel is gonna get monetized. Is that all right? Well, see. I'll show you something. Well, you know that my sister's here. No reason I don't. Well, that's That wouldn't stop you. You know what? You can't believe you're fucking with, dude. I don't give a fuck. This channel is gonna get monetized. Because I don't make no copyright strikes. Fuck you. Here, my sister's trying to calm me down, right? Something will work. Please, guys. You know, it bothers me out of here. Ask my sister. Ask Tammy. She'll tell you. My conscience left my mind a long fucking time ago. I don't care. Are you finished talking to each other? Just don't ever mind. Yes, I'm going to flip the phone. What's up, baby? What's up? I love you. Thank you. Turn your camera off so I can see your pretty face. Turn your camera on. I want to see. Oh, I want to see my sister turn the camera on. Don't argue. Please turn the camera on. Come on now. Hi. Okay, I appreciate it. Hi. Hey, Tammy. 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 Hi. My camera's on. Come on, Tam. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then I'm sharing the chat room here. I'm gonna ask you a question. Man. Yeah, what's up, Powder Toast? Uh, show, what's up, Five? First off, okay, J, uh, Jewish American X Fat, first off, anybody worried about Popeye? I've already called law enforcement in Alabama. Popeye's in four years ago. Lie. Tam, why don't you do me a favor? Get on, um, you know, you got best of a friend, you got best of a cop, your friends, right? Yeah. Ask him, do I have one? Ask him, do I have a uh, guy? With... Ask him, do I have anything against me in uh, Florida because of a guy that I was going to send my money back? So you know what I mean. No, ask about the uh, child support that you haven't paid. Talk to him. Thank you. Dude, ain't nobody worried about this shit. Papa cannot get a warrant on me me being in the Philippines. I'm gonna tell you, man, that's bullshit. What's he gonna get against? I mean, it'd be like what Al, right? Al, you there, Al? Apple, don't fall far from the tree. Oh my God, he tried to fuck me in the ass. He tried to have my ass. Well, oh my God, you cannot get a warrant for somebody's arrest for threats. Believe me, I know. <laughs> no, you don't know, apparently. Not if you said it's a promise and not a threat. That's right. Regardless with his videos or whatever else, and it's not a promise. Oh, really? Promise. It's not a threat. It's a promise. So therefore, you want to get a warrant on me? Bye bye. Don't do the police thing because I'll tell the cops go fuck themselves because it's my cop. Yeah, you'll do that. So it's right. I can tell them to fuck off. See how far that would get you. It's my cop. So it's right until they go to hell and go away and leave me alone. It's his constitutional right. He's not even in America. And I had the constitutional right. Then got a choice but to walk. Fuck off. Right. Well, it's you as a man, Popeye. But wait, wait. Here, Tammy, I'm gonna show you what Popeye looks like, Tammy. Wait, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show my sister what he looks. This is your boyfriend. Right, Popeye. And I'm gonna let my sister air exactly what she thinks of you on air. Hold on a minute. This is gonna be funny. Wait a second. Let me go to my sister's thing. Hold on a minute. Ah, uh, there's Tammy right there. Hold on a minute. All right, Tammy. Hold on a second. I'm gonna send you some pictures right now. One minute, sis. You tell me. I'm gonna send you this picture, sis. Right here. You tell me. What do you think of this guy? 
I'll send you a picture. Just tell this guy. Oh, there it is. Tanny, what do you think of this guy? Open the picture and take a look. Get a really, really close look. What do you think of this guy? Honestly. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Not my type. Exactly. You think he's ugly or pretty? What do you think? My husband's absolutely gorgeous. No, no, ain't nobody, ain't nobody compared to your husband. Is he an ugly man or is he a good looking man? Which one is it? He's ugly. But wait, well, hold on a minute, sis. Wait, I'm not done. I'm not done. Hold on a second. No, I don't want to picture me. Fuck off the camera. Uh, excuse me. Find that. The group. I can buy a plane ticket because they don't pay for that shit yet. They want to sell. Secondly, I can pay for my fines. I pay for my plane ticket, get my lawyer to go to Manila, pay for my fines, come back with paperwork saying it's done. And they were telling me that I can marry my girl before I, that I can marry Shah before I leave the Philippines. <laughs> Delusional. And it would be a lot easier for me to come back. So we're, we're, we're going to work something in there. But just so you know what's going on, that and what is going on. So there's no court order, there's none of this shit. All I have to do, I can buy a plane ticket because they don't. No court order, huh? Pay for that shit yet, they want to sell. Secondly, I can pay for my fines. I pay for my plane ticket, get my lawyer to go to Manila, pay for my fines, come uh, What lawyer is that? I can pay for work saying it's done. Is that the one Ricky's been uh, taking donations for? And they were telling me that I could marry my girl before I, that I could marry Shaw before I leave the building. Has to go through the NBI. And, and it would be a lot easier for me to come back. So we're, we're, we're going to work something in there. But just so you know what's going on, that and what is going on. So there's no court order, there's none of this shit. All I have to do, I can buy a plane ticket because they don't pay for that shit yet. They want to sell. Secondly, I can pay for my fines. I pay for my plane ticket, get my lawyer to go to Manila, pay for my fines, come back with paperwork saying it's done. And they were telling me that I can marry my girl before I, that I can marry Shaw before I leave the Philippines. And it would be a lot easier for me to come back. So we're, we're, we're going to work something in there. But just so you know what's going on, that and what is going on. So there's no court order, there's none of this shit. All I have to do is buy a plane ticket, pay my fines, and that's it. But I want to try to marry Shaw before I do all that. So you can understand what's going on. So you let everybody know you heard it from me. So there you go. That's the that, that's the Boy's got some plans. Exact thing what's happening right now. Hey John, how you doing, buddy? It's good to see you, man. Well, I'm gonna tell you what's going on. I'm borrowing I'm borrowing one of the guards' phones. So I'm about to get on the back. I just wanted to get a hold of some of my family so the guards let me use her. You got another lie. He's using his own phone. Phone for now. But, so you know, th th this is what's happening. Okay, in order for me to be deported, you can go on YouTube and you can tell people. You know what I mean? Just say you visited me and we talked. Okay? What's happening is, okay, first off, I can buy a plane ticket because they don't pay for that shit yet. They want to sell. Secondly, I can pay for my fines. I pay for my plane ticket, get my lawyer to go to Manila, pay for my fines, come back with paperwork saying it's done. And they were telling me that I could marry my girl before I, that I could marry Shaw before I leave the Philippines. And it would be a lot easier for me to come back. So we're, we're, we're going to work something in there. But just so you know what's going on, that and what is going on. So there's no court order, there's none of this shit. All I have to do is buy a plane ticket, pay my fines, and that's it. But I want to try to marry Shaw before I do all that. So you understand what's going on. So you let everybody know you heard it from me. So there you go. That's that. That's the exact thing what's happening right now. Well, I gotta give the phone back to the guard. So just figured I'd let you know, man. You know, that's give the phone back to the guard. <laughs> what's happening? That's what's going on. Because it's Ricky just said 
It's in the deputy commissioner's hands. They're not sure what's going on yet because nobody has a file. But, but, but must be the guards talking to him. Yeah. Must be. I don't know. Mike Ross, come on up. It's up to the commissioners what goes on. Hang in, Bay. Welcome back to the bullpen. What's up, Bugante? And he said he has money for his plane ticket and his lawyer fees. And I thought Ricky said he needs donations for his plane ticket to get him back. Damn it, and that, play that again. Hey, he said he has the the money. I don't know. Well, yeah, I know. Play that again. He said he has the money for his lawyer and his plane ticket. So he has the money. Why is Ricky asking for donations? Well, I'm going to tell you what's going on. I'm borrowing, I'm borrowing one of the guards' phones. So. I'm going to get phone back. I just wanted to get a hold of some of my family so the boys let me use their phone for now. But, so you know, this is what's happening. Okay. In order for me to be deported, you can go on YouTube and you can tell people. You know what I mean? Just say you visited. Big discount for branded deals. Okay, folks, enough is enough. Okay. I gotta, I gotta kind of march on here and take care of some shit. I wasn't gonna go out this early and take care of chores, but I guess I have to. Okay, thank you for this show. It's a three-hour fucking show. This is one for Nair Riker here. Um, you make your own determination from what you've heard on here, and uh, I think you pretty much got it down. What's going down in Funky Town? You got it down, and uh, I think we're gonna end it right here. I think we're going to end it right here. And I think you've heard enough to uh, put a lot of meat on the plate there. A lot of meat is served today on my show. And those are the great reasons why a woman should date this goober. Because he is the cream of the crop. Obviously so. I think she needs to shut her fucking mouth is what I think she needs to do. She needs to concentrate on her own fucking business. Her and her sister. Mind her own business if they think Barry is a quality man well i can say a lot of things about that but uh they know better they know a lot better and why they want to see their sister daughter whatever with a van of this caliber is beyond all of us but stranger things happen in life i guess as it does 